Hi guys, it's Ivy, and welcome back to my crafty channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how to draw this super cute rainbow hedgehog. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Alright, so here's the cute little hedgehog that we're going to be drawing today. I think he's super cute. So what you're going to need for this is obviously some paper. I'm just using this simple sketchbook. A pencil. And of course, some colorful markers to use to make the hedgehog rainbow. And I'm using these brush tip markers. And go watch my marker video if you guys want to know what markers these are, if you guys want to get these. It's basically just in all of my markers videos, so if you guys watch that, then you'll see these in the video, and you guys can decide if you want to get these. So I'm using purple, blue, a lighter sky blue, this grass green, and this ultra bright pink. And of course, it's always handy to have an eraser, but you don't really need this. Alright everyone, now let's draw the adorable little hedgehog. Alright you guys, so first of all, you're just going to draw an ovally shape for its head. I'm drawing mine a little bit flatter on the top than I'm going to on the bottom. That's how it looks so far. And by the way, I'm drawing pretty dark with my pencil so you guys can see it. But you guys should draw as light as you can with your pencil. Okay, so that is going to be my cute little hedgehog's head. Just fixing it up a little bit. And there we go. Now I'm just using my eraser to clean up the edges a little. But of course, if you like your head the way that it is, then you can just leave it. So there is a the circle for my hedgehog's head. Now I'm going to draw a few little ears on top. I'm just drawing some little rounded ears. It kind of looks like a bear right now. <laughs> Make it look like it's more on the head by kind of adding a little bit of shading on the edges of the ears. And then you have the basic head ho hedgehog head shape. But first, of course, then you're going to want to erase the line in between your ears under both of your ears, so it looks like the ears are attached to the hedgehog's head. So there's the little ears. Now you're gonna want to draw the little muzzle on your hedgehog. You're just gonna want to draw two triangle-y looking things going to a little point. Like that, and that's gonna be your hedgehog's muzzle. Then you're going to want to draw a little dot for the nose right at the end. And of course, erase the line so it looks like it's attached to the head. So there we have the basic hedgehog base. Now what we're going to do... It kind of looks like a little fox or mouse right now. But that's okay because of course it's going to come together when we add the spikes. Okay, so now you're just going to draw some circles for the eyes, about the same size. So there are the circles. Then you're going to want to color in all the eyes with your pencil, leaving a small white spot for the reflection on the eye. There's one eye. Now let's do the other. All right, so there's the little hedgehog's face. Isn't it cute? 
Now what we're going to do is draw his body. All you're going to do for this is draw a super duper light oval shape. Coming out from his head. That's what I have so far. We're just going to keep drawing it. And when you want it to end off, then you just draw it and put it next to the body. So there I have my basic cute little hedgehog. I'm just erasing a little bit to make it a little lighter. But of course, you should just draw light. Alright, and now it's time for the cute little hedgehog spikes. But first, you're going to want to draw its little paw coming out. All you're going to want to do is draw two little lines next to each other. Right there. And then, you're going to want to draw three little fingers. Isn't that so cute? Then you're going to want to start with one of your colorful markers and draw some little spikes. I'm using the brush tip. You're just going to want to draw some little spikes all over with this. It'll make it look more real if they're scattered. I'm not quite done yet. You're just going to want to put them scattered, but also take a lot of time thinking about where you want to put your hedgehog. Your hedgehog's quills. Okay, so there's my hedgehog so far. Isn't he cute? Now what you're going to do is take a different color and scatter those quills on top. Like that. You don't want to put too many purple clothes before we put the other colors because then it will look like the other colors are just black if we layer it too much. There we have him so far. Now let's move on to the pink. All right, now the last color, the green. And there you have your super cute little hedgehog. He's super cute, right? Alright you guys, well thank you for watching this video and if you guys enjoyed this video then please click the thumbs up and if you guys enjoy all of my videos then please subscribe to my channel. Bye guys!